welcome back guys to uh, Mono Puzzle uh, Psychos again. So it's Junko. But hey, we're gonna investigate Psychos better because, uh, because about Junko. Alright, I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. That's me! All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what had happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive and force Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed! Aren't you going to help investigate Shihiro? Um, but I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. <laughs> no way! I seriously don't want to die here! I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Buddha, Mother of God of Space, kidnapped him! Help me! I don't care who it is, just let me out of here! It doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. <laughs> I am fucking useless for that. Do, oh, yep, 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 yep. She's dead. I checked again. Ha, ah, damn it! Why? Alright. Nobody's in here. Alright. Huh. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Saika's corpse still remained. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Okay. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. Since, I mean, it's mine and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? I'm exactly in the mood to be Why? building fucking furniture, right? <laughs> so you haven't used yours either, and Why? not just me. Nobody's Why? busted those out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. It's like, why the hell would we? Ooh. The truth balls are basically evidence. Uh, Huh? Look at the lint roller. The rent, the rent lower. <laughs> it looks like there's way less than there was before. So I can see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself until now. I shouldn't be surprised to put it coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off some parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah. The, yeah. The handle especially <laughs> is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you uh, just touch it a little bit. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so... It must be my room key! My god. That makes total sense. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm fucking nailing this. If I remember correctly. Oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Saika would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, I did the killer get into the room in the first place. Yes. Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? What a klutz! No. <laughs> That seems impossible. Hey, Saika, don't fucking open your door. What? Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Sounds good. I'm lactose intolerant. What? No, the pizzas. I'm just saying that. There's oh, no the way. pizza man did it. The pizza man did it. There's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well. Maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when we switched rooms, and how with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Oh. Oh, I guess I'm talking to Sakura. I did not... Sakura, do you think I... Uh, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I tried not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. 
Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Uh, uh I don't believe there's anything. The sheep. Is this the replica sword I brought back for self defense? This has been. It was used in an attack somehow? And plus, the sword there had been taken out, so it's just a sheath, but. Uh huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But. How did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make any sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. What are they doing? I mean, a, a heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? Freaking idiots, dude. Come on, dude. There's a gouge on my bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? They weren't fans of twin mattresses. <laughs> the scratches on couches on my walls and bed. Evidence of a struggle? Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right here in the other room. If only I had heard something! Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right I'll next see to you. There. Oh. And there. Huh? He's in two places at the same time. Oh, hold on a second. My God. What, what the fuck? I mean, she's in two yeah, places at the same time. I was time. like, who are you talking about? So something could happen in the room right next to you. And there's no way you could know. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies. Creating the ideal setting for murder. It's insanely hot in here. No one is. <laughs> You know, dead bodies do, <laughs> they give, like, off of, like, a heat thing. They're all their I'm, heat comes out. Yeah, man. You remember when fucking Han Pup Luke and the Tom Tom or whatever? I mean, yeah. For once, you know? It's the same exact thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I realized something when I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? If anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? I could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. dirty bastard! Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death! My brother told me. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound in his goddamn face in! But... What if it was a girl that did it? Yo. I don't know. I'll get sorted out when the time comes. Kyoko, get... Uh, hiding. Hey, Kyoko! I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but... She seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I, I don't think so, but... What? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Hey, man, I'm a teenager. I do that, man. What, what do you mean unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. I wear a wig. Oh, you know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. But someone had used it too. I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and somehow used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it... Saika? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Give me in here. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door... <laughs> no, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. 
And I slipped on the blood. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Ugh. Looking at her made it painfully clear. It wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that had made her... Her... Psycho. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. <laughs> but I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why does Sack have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought helped me up and supported me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I'm bad, dude. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's no, now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object, but... Uh, some sort of sharp object? What the fuck is that? Uh, I've been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But, uh... Why would they use the killer? Where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and I look so according to the Monokuma file, so I guess right, this is broken. The wrist does look swollen and bloody, bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Some sort of piss stain on her. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands seem you know, totally spotless, so how come it's only her left finger? Ooh, ooh. Stab wound in the stomach is what killed her. So, then she broke her wrist. That must have happened earlier on. I mean, how could she her wrist get broken after she's been already killed? Oh my god, it appears that there's literally some words written behind her. <laughs> and that's why her left index finger... No, that's impossible! ...is bloody that's because it, she it, used uh, blood th to write th something. That, that can't be possible. And it starts with an L and an E. What are you talking which about? Which means that she said... Leprosy. Leave. Leave now, please. I'm taking a piss. But why did she, she write it upside down? Why? So it's very possible she broke, broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the corner kill, killer cornered the corner killer heard in the bathroom where they inflicted the deadly wound. Ooh. Is there a character with the name starts with an L E? I looked past Sarah at the wall behind her, and there I saw. Huh? in the blood with Leon. the numbers 11037. What the fuck are you talking about? Did Sarah do this? What the fuck? Leon did it! What are you talking about? Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into the stomach. That must be the killing blow. I think I looked in here. But whatever they used to kill it, what did they get it? There's simply something I'm looking to do later. Also, we could have. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I did look at this, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Not uh, Leon. No. I Leon. love Leon, man. I mean, yeah, it kind of does say Leon, but I mean, that could be, you know, like in base journey, it was used to frame somebody. So, I mean. That's a good point. Yeah. But the finger. I mean, yeah, but the the. I mean, yeah, her hands were spotless in base journey, but. That doesn't automatically mean, you know. Read your line! <laughs> it looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaku's dying messages. I've never seen these, uh, anything written in blood before. It really w was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. You've clearly not seen Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. What? <laughs> Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. Was that her phone password? Was it... Oh my god. Is that her, her she number? Wrote Did she give me her location? number? Oh. While she was sitting the way we found her. I mean, she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. I mean, I am the main character, so. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not gonna tell me. Mmm, the die message. 
It sounds like Kyoko knows what Saika's dead, uh, dying message means. But I was like, I have no fucking clue. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? There's one other thing I want to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, yeah, how you mean you get? Yeah, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the framing quite right. Uh, when I ch first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learned the trick, it opens no problem. Ooh. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I hear what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. My doorknob! Huh? Doorknob? What the fuck? Huh? What the heck? This doorknob's practically about to fall off! Why did they do that? Ah, oh, the killer's an asshole, man. I gotta fix this now? Like my couch? Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? Was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms I can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And apparently started struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when... When we switched room, why are you looking at me? What you're saying is... Uh, yes, you lied! <laughs> I might. I was saying you lied. I'm sorry. So what you're saying is, only you and Saika knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. The slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I get the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears it up. Um, what clears what up? Uh, I'm so lost. Goodbye. See you later. Well, as if I, I'm forgetting I was ever th even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. But Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure that there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what, uh, what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. God, I have such awful social skills. Uh... Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. What? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplate's in my room, and Sayaka's room was well, switched? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So in all that effort, and I put it to switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. Mm. But why would anyone do that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, give me the fucking DVD. Okay, only one thing in the trash can. Yep, DVD with Saika's name on it. Saika got really upset after seeing what was on that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to this case, but it was Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. No! <laughs> <laughs> but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. Alright, uh... Yeah, let's talk to the boys. Very strange. So why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Maybe because you are the culprit? No, you gotta hold on! Saika and I switched rooms last night! He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, I'm still responsible for her death, won't you say? Huh? Hm. After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> Be 
He's inside. He was killed because I suggested that we switch rooms. Dead. Because of me. And it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That. If that's really true, then I. <laughs> what do you want to say, uh, Leon? What do you got to say? Seems like something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file says Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Uh, for the dead. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Uh, Mr. Naegi, what was uh, Miss um, Maizano uh, doing in, in your room? <laughs> Uh, well, let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any uh, uh, evidence in, 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 in the trash room. <laughs> Do you really think I'm guilty? No. I believe it's this moment. As soon as I press this button, I believe it's this moment that we have surpassed Terry Crews' playthrough of the game. Nuh uh. Yeah. This is as far as they've gone. This is it? Yeah, this is it. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, he's too busy with America's Got Talent. That's what I was gonna say he had to do AGT, uh, the champions. Yeah, it was like it's just the workload's too big. The champions, champions, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ina, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been on the break since we started. Um, this is all a first for me, you know. I don't have the first clue of what I what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm a fucking dumbass. I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. Uh, to tell the truth, I was uh, doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. <laughs> I was just hanging out, watching Sayaka get stabbed. Just chilling out, you know? There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or... I better see if anyone else here knows about it. Hold on. Hina, you said that you were here last night. What the fuck, dude? Come on. Hina, explain yourself. Hey, so, uh... Did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Huh. So it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last time I remember, they were all lined up in a, night, a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. When I finished uh, my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall, and you didn't think to mention that to anybody, that somebody had a fucking knife? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You could tell everyone that I didn't come into the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it! Yes! Yes! I'm gonna get away with this after all! Hey, uh, by the way, did you really kill Saika? What? The, of course not! I would, no, I would never! <laughs> Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well... She was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then killing the other is a classic drama setup. But when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Uh, ah! Uh, go to the trash room. Garbage room. Oh, I gotta also talk to Chihiro as well. There's a steady gate here. No way to get past. It's the end of the line! The trash room, where this is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't. No, 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 no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed to get in. Cleaning duty? No, 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 no! The entry point is beyond, uh, no entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Uh, who's on cleaning duty? No, no, no! no, no. Entry point, no entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Oh, this is stupid. It'll be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, 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 no! no, no. There's no entry further. beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! 
Ooh. Who the fuck? Who the fuck was on cleaning duty? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> who the fuck is that guy? Oh, you the guy that's on cleaning duty? Um, I've been looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As, as a matter of fact, that's that's me. <laughs> Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to uh, to take care of it. But as someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with. Trash, trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go. Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and uh, toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually, you'll be in charge! Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and the only and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going all to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all this time so that we can throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, destroying evidence would be would be easy. <laughs> the thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, I, 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 I just d decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. <laughs> What's the big deal? You liar. I know why you did it. Is it like you want to dig through all the girls' trash looking for, you, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a what common sense What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. There's all kinds of trash diggers like you. Maybe we'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash and disposing of it. What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, what's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Kifumi, since you want cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> what? So now you suddenly want to join my party? <laughs> Sorry, but uh, you haven't uh, triggered that flag yet. <laughs> I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or, or, or save a village or, or, or beat a boss. <laughs> oh, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You Oh, okay! So easy. Uh, so Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, hmm. wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, <laughs> it makes me think. <laughs> they said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they, they found themselves a way out. <laughs> uh, whatever, just please hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Let me pull out a key out of his pocket and use it to flip the switch next to the gate. Hold on, that's not a key, that's a knife. Oh, Jesus. And then... Mr. Naegi. However... 
Mr. Naegi. Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not! Hmm, but the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind! <laughs> Wait! Maybe a parallel world! Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. And we're gonna look at the trash room, man! The so next like episode. Watch this episode up there. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to play the video. Find the video upload, which is every single day. Goodbye.